Samsung Accessibility Film Club presents Samsung Accessibility Features for Blind and Low Vision Users. Some features in this tutorial are only available on select TV models and countries. Hi, I'm Sheridan O'Donnell, and I'm a low vision film director, critic, and movie lover. I was diagnosed with a rare eye condition called retinitis pigmentosa in 2020, which slowly leads to legal blindness. Although I have low vision, I'm still a very visual person, and my love for films continues to grow. I see movies as a common language that brings people together, and with accessible technology, it lets us enjoy movies regardless of our abilities. Samsung's accessibility features on their TVs are quick to set up and easy to use. They cater to low vision users. Let me bring you through them step by step. You can set up all accessibility features before you start watching for a seamless viewing experience. To bring you through Samsung's accessibility features, we'll be using some scenes from Flush, a short film I wrote and directed. It's a really special film to me, inspired by my sister becoming a new mother and the roller coaster of emotions that followed. The story follows old friends as they reconnect over drinks, but we're left wondering what's going on in Nick, the main character's mind, as she wrestles with emotions left unsaid. Now let's dive right into the features and the movie. Accessibility shortcuts. To bring up the accessibility shortcuts, locate the volume button on your remote control. It's the rectangular button on the lower left of your remote. Simply press and hold the volume button for a few seconds, like this, and the accessibility shortcuts menu will then appear on screen, showing most of the accessibility features. You can also use Voice Assistant to bring up the accessibility shortcuts. Simply say, Hi Bixby, show me the accessibility shortcuts. I'll show you more of this feature in a bit. To find each feature you need, click the directional buttons up or down. To select a feature, click on the circle in the middle of the remote. For the full accessibility menu, click Accessibility Settings at the bottom of the Accessibility Shortcuts menu page. Voice Guide. It basically does all the work for you. It reads aloud everything you click on, like the current channel, program information, and volume level. On the Accessibility Shortcuts, click on Voice Guide right there at the top. With Voice Guide on, you can hear on-screen text and commands. Let's see how it works. Audio description off. Caption off. Position off. Auto caption position off. Fancy stuff. You can even adjust pitch and tone. To adjust Voice Guide settings, Expand the menu item, and here you can select to adjust volume, speed, pitch, and TV background volume. Voice Assistant. It lets you navigate your TV using just your voice. Hey Bixby, play movie. And here it plays, just like magic. Let me show you how. To activate Voice Assistant, click the menu button and select all settings on the most left. Under the General and Privacy menu, select Voice. Click on Voice Assistant and then choose Bixby. Now hold onto the microphone button to activate Voice Assistant and speak into the remote. You can also use Voice Assistant like this. Hey Bixby, turn the volume down. Audio Description. On to the next feature. Audio Description is an additional audio track that provides a narration of the visual elements or details that are happening on screen. Turn on audio description under the accessibility shortcuts. You can bring up audio description for any content that has audio description in its original broadcast or production. Here's a simulation of this feature using a scene from my film. The pair dance around the living room to the music. This sequence in the middle of the film is important because we get to see the tension from earlier in the evening melt away as the characters open up to each other. As audio description helps to visualize mood and ambiance, viewers will be able to immerse themselves even in a scene without dialogue. Magnification. As the film progresses, we find out more about the characters. In this sequence, the main character faces the bittersweet realization that her life has taken a different path from her friends. Nick is a character who hasn't shown much emotion, but in this brief second, we get to see a vulnerable side of her. A feature like magnification can help with experiencing this scene better. 
Magnification lets you zoom into any part of the TV screen, both menu and TV programs, with a magnifying effect. And just to note, the TV models from 2022 and before call this feature graphic zoom. But on TV models from 2023 onwards, this feature is called magnification. Here's a shortcut to bring up the magnification menu bar. Hold down the menu button and return button at the same time. A menu bar will appear on the top right of your screen. The button on the left magnifies the screen, the middle button positions the screen, and the right button reverts the screen back to the original setting. To exit magnification, click on the return icon on the most right of the menu bar. With magnification, you won't miss the nuances of our expression here. This feature is especially useful when you need to see smaller details like text or even Easter eggs in films. Grayscale. As someone who has low vision, some scenes might be harder to make out. This is where grayscale comes in. It's a feature that's also helpful to users with color weakness. It basically turns the visuals on screen into black and white mode. Under the accessibility shortcuts, turn on grayscale. You can also turn it off under the same menu item. Grayscale sharpens images that are blurry as the contrast levels are now increased. For users with color weakness, grayscale helps to emphasize color boundaries, a simple feature that goes a long way. Relumino mode. Here's an upcoming feature that we can all look forward to. It's called Relumino mode. Relumino mode works on sources provided through direct television, or DTV, and HDMI. Let's try it out. With my condition, I have reduced peripheral vision and difficulty making out low contrast images and shades of color. A person with full vision may not have a problem viewing this film, but to low vision viewers, it can look like this. In this scene from Flush, we see Nick pick up her friend's baby. In this moment, her expression is crucial to reveal her true emotions. With Relumino mode, her distress comes through on screen. Press and hold the volume button to bring up accessibility shortcuts. Scroll down to find Relumino mode. You can turn it off by clicking the same menu item. With Relumino mode, objects in the image are outlined with enhanced contrast ratio, brightness, color, and sharpness. When you access Relumino mode under accessibility settings, you can customize intensity and edge colors. Here's what Relumino mode would look like to someone who has low vision. Now that the images are enhanced, this helps viewers interpret the scene better. There was a time when it was difficult to watch my own films because they were made when I still had full vision. But as I've learned to embrace my identity, I realized that with accessible technology, I can still do what I love. Apart from the awesome screen features, you can also personalize menu settings so your Samsung TV is perfect for you. Let's go through the menu features. Zoom menu and text. If you have trouble with small print and details, the zoom menu and text feature increases the size of the menu. Note that on TV models from 2022 and before, this feature is called enlarge. On TV models from 2023 onwards, you'll find this feature called Zoom Menu and Text. On the accessibility shortcuts, select Zoom Menu and Text. It magnifies the menu screen, which makes it easy to read. High contrast. Sometimes the default menu background can be hard to read. Here's where high contrast comes in. It provides maximum contrast and visibility, making it much easier to navigate. Once you're on the accessibility shortcuts, select High Contrast. All menu screens are converted to white or yellow text on an opaque black background. Color Inversion. Color Inversion is a feature that easily inverts colors. Scroll down the accessibility shortcuts to select Color Inversion. Now all your menu screens have inverted colors. Learn TV Remote. Learn TV Remote is a feature that teaches you where each button is and what it does. Once you're on the accessibility shortcuts, click on Learn TV Remote. And if you have Voice Guide activated, it will describe what each button does, like this. Let's try it out for the Home button. Home. And the Directional buttons. Up arrow. Down arrow. Learn Menu Screen. If you need extra guidance for all menu items, 
Click on Learn Menu Screen for more information. Just like Learn TV Remote, Learn Menu Screen describes the layout and features of each menu. Find Learn Menu Screen under the Accessibility Shortcuts, and let's see it in action. Once I click onto a menu item, like using the Remote Control menu, you will hear this. Learn Menu Screen, 10 items. Using the Remote Control, you can see the description of the buttons on the Samsung Smart Remote or Remote Control. So there you go. These are the tools you can use to make your movie watching so much better. Every feature is a step closer to a more accessible world, and I think it's great Samsung wants to push the line forward with every new innovation. Blind and low vision users enjoy films as their main form of entertainment just as much as sighted people do. And as an advocate, I want to change how people view disability. Ultimately, accessibility is about technology that cares for everyone's needs. And features like these help make entertainment more accessible to everyone. That's a wrap.